Hello everyone, Pancakes here, and today I have something a little bit different. This is a Mass Effect 3 multiplayer. And if you guys saw my last Call of Duty video, you'll know that I had just recently beaten Mass Effect 3. And in that video, I did give my thoughts and overall impressions on the video, or, or uh, on the game. What do I like? What don't I like? What do I think of the ending? If you have not yet seen that video, you are more than welcome to check it out in the uh, description of the video here. And, uh, and yeah, so after beating the game, I thought I'd go ahead and give the multiplayer a try. I do have some people on my friends list who have been playing it, and they told me that it was pretty good and certainly worth checking out, so I went ahead and did that. And I've got some uh, footage here. I'm not that great at the game, so uh, if you see me do something stupid, please don't troll my page. Uh, just kind of having fun with it. And uh, in this particular match here, I'm playing the Asari Vanguard class. Uh, as of re recording this match, I had just unlocked it, so... I thought it'd be kind of fun to give it a try. Uh, it's it's an okay class. It's not as good as some of the other Vanguard classes, but you know it was worth giving it a try. And uh, you know whatever. And uh, for those of you who are not familiar with the way these classes work, uh, there are five classes in Mass Effect. There is Soldier, Adept, Engineer, Sentinel. In, uh, did I say Infiltrator? Maybe I did. Maybe I didn't. Infiltrator and Vanguard. And so there might be there might be six classes actually. But, uh, you know, the classes are all kind of unique, and they all kind of play differently. So you have the soldier class, which is sort of your generic shooter-type class, where you, you don't have a lot of guns and stuff like that. Uh, then you have the adept class, which is sort of mainly, you get like these telekinetic powers called biotics. It's all sort of explained in the game, uh, scientifically. It's kind of cool. And you'll get all these sort of telekinetic powers, and, and you kind of play around with that. You're more of a caster-type character. This is where sort of the RPG elements comes in with Mass Effect. Uh, you have the Engineer class, which is another type of caster with different kinds of abilities. Uh, they're called tech abilities. It's hard to kind of describe why they're different. They just are. Um, you have the Infiltrator class, which is sort of like a sneaky sniper kind of class, where you have this invisibility cloak that lets you kind of pop in and snipe somebody for extra damage. Uh, I like the Infiltrator class the most personally. It's probably my favorite class. It's, uh, I've been playing through the, uh, the Mass Effect trilogy again, uh, kind of trying out a different class. The last time I beat it, I played it as a soldier, which is kind of, you know, generic. And this time I'm doing it as an Infiltrator, and I've actually been enjoying it quite a bit more because there's a lot more strategy and a lot more variety to the gameplay. And that's one of the great things about the trilogy is that you can go back and replay it as a completely different character, completely different class, make, you know, different decisions throughout the game, and it'll be different. So, but, that, you know, that's kind of on a, on a different tangent there. But yeah, I like Infiltrator. It's one of my favorite classes. And then there's the uh, the Vanguard class, which is sort of a combination of Soldier and Biotic. And that's what I'm using here in this particular video. And the way the Vanguard class works is it's more of an aggressive, in-your-face type of class, where you use like things like the Biotic... I think it's called the Biotic Charge. Uh, in this particular video, you'll see me kind of dash up and obliterate somebody. That's the Biotic Charge ability. Uh, it's pretty good, but the, the thing with the Vanguard class, and you'll see me probably do that a couple of times in this video, is it's very easy to kind of get in over your head and rush into a situation that you shouldn't be rushing into. Uh, so it's, it's, it's a very high risk, high reward kind of class setup. Because unlike the Infiltrator, which is very safe, you kind of sit back with a sniper rifle and pick things off from a distance. Uh, with the Vanguard class, you're very much up in their face, up in their uh, danger zone, so to speak. And if you play it right, I mean, you, you know, you can rack up a lot of kills and be just fine, but it's very easy to get a little rush happy and start rushing enemies that you uh, shouldn't be rushing. Uh, but it's all fun, uh, and, and the, uh, you'll see me, I think the primary weapon you'll see me use in this in this uh, gameplay as a vanguard is shotgun, and I use a pistol because it lets you uh, keep the weight down. Because uh, the way this game works is if you use a lot of heavy weapons, like if you use, say, a shotgun and an assault rifle, that's very heavy, and it'll actually increase the cooldowns on your ability. However, if you do what I do here and you use, say, a shotgun and a pistol, or you might even just use one weapon. I actually, like in my engineer class, I only use one weapon. You can keep those cooldowns really low, and you can use your abilities a lot more frequently. Uh, but in this particular match, I like to have sort of a close-distance, long-distance weapon. The pistol I'm using is the Phalanx. Uh, there might be better pistols in the game. I don't have them unlocked yet. Phalanx is pretty good. It's accurate. It does good damage. Uh... So overall, just a pretty good weapon, and obviously when you charge in there with your biotic charge, you're going to want to primarily use the shotgun, and I'm using the, I think, the Eviscerator. Uh, and like I said, I don't have that many guns unlocked, so I don't know what's best, but of the uh, shotguns I have, this one seems to work uh, work better than the others I have. 
And I believe the last class I haven't talked about is the Sentinel class, which is sort of a combination of biotics and the uh, engineer. And I haven't really played much of the Sentinel class. From what I understand, it tends to be a very defensive kind of class where you have a lot of these shields and stuff. Um, didn't really interest me that much, to be honest. I like more of an aggressive, tactical kind of uh, class setup. So that's kind of why I like Vanguard and Engineer and Adept and uh, Infiltrate and all that kind of, all that kind of stuff. And uh, in the future, I've got uh, different gameplays from different classes. I have Infiltrator class uh, gameplay. I have Engineer class gameplay. If you guys are interested in seeing some more, I can certainly uh, give you guys some more content for Mass Effect 3 multiplayer. It's not a problem. And, uh, you know, I kind of wanted to do some single-player gameplay, but that's kind of hard because Mass Effect is a very story-oriented game where it's hard to just kind of throw in some gameplay from, like, halfway through the game. It just doesn't make sense. So, uh, unfortunately, that won't work. But uh, multiplayer is certainly doable. I guess in, uh, in terms of my uh, general impressions of the multiplayer, it's pretty fun. Uh, as you can see, I haven't really discussed this yet, but as you can see from this gameplay, it's, it's sort of a uh, multiplayer co-op kind of experience, very similar to Horde mode from Gears of War, where there are 11 waves, and if you beat all 11 waves, then you kind of win the match, and you get your experience and, and credits, and you can use these credits to buy what I like to call booster packs, because they remind me of the like Pokemon card or uh, Yu-Gi-Oh card booster packs, and that you'll buy this pack of, to say in a trading card game, you'll buy a pack of cards, and most of them will be just like random garbage, but you'll have one card that's pretty good, or rare at the very least and if you get lucky you might get like an ultra rare card and in this game it kind of works that way you might get like a rare uh in the sense that it's like a weapon or an upgrade or something that's you know not super common or you might get really lucky you'll get like a new character like i got here with the sasari vanguard you might get like a rare weapon like the black widow which is <laughs> a gun i really want because if you've played mass effect 3 like the campaign it's one of the specter weapons that sniper rifle is badass but in this game, on the multiplayer, it's hard to get because it's ultra rare. So the odds of getting it are very low, unless you get one of the higher end uh, booster packs, which I haven't uh, done yet. And, uh, you know, as you get better weapons and gear, you can go up to higher difficulties. This is on bronze. However, you can go up to silver, gold, and platinum. And as you go up to each uh, difficulty level, uh, you know, it takes longer, but you get more money at the end if you win. So there's kind of a trade-off there. But yeah, I mean, like, this isn't really a game necessarily that I could see, you know, people playing for like four years straight, like some people can with Call of Duty or something, but it's certainly a fun sort of add-on. Uh, my biggest fear is that it would kind of be just an added on tacky sort of thing, which it kind of is, but at the same time, I mean, it is fun. It is enjoyable. I do like it. I could see myself playing it a bit, uh, and I've actually been kind of going back and playing through the trilogy again, uh, because I kind of wanted to try sort of a different kind of playthrough. Uh, and so, you know, before when I beat the trilogy the first time, I played as the soldier class, which is kind of generic, you know, just like any other shooter. You don't really get to feel the full experience of the RPG elements. Well, you kind of do, because you get to use your squad mates' uh, abilities. Like, when I played soldier, I would take Liara and Garrus with me, I believe, and that seemed to be a pretty good balance. Uh, Liara, of course, is a biotic so she has all the telekinetic abilities. And then Garrus is sort of an infiltrator kind of character. So that worked out pretty well. And this uh, more recent playthrough, I've been playing as an infiltrator, which, as I said before, is one of my, my uh, favorite classes, which is uh, has been a lot of fun. And I've been very thorough. I got, like, the best guns in the game, the best equipment in the game. It's been pretty good. Uh, and I think my main squad now for Mass Effect 1 as an infiltrator, I still use Liara because her biotics are very, very useful. And I think I've been also, I've, I use Rex. Rex is a badass, and he's a vanguard. So I have sort of a close-range enemy with Rex, sort of a utilitarian kind of character with Liara. And I got the Infiltrator, who can deal with long-range enemies with a sniper rifle, as myself. Uh, and it's a good setup. And that's kind of one of the things I really like about Mass Effect, is that every time you play through it, you can use a different class. Um, I may have said this already, but, you know, you can use a different class, different squad setup. It's, uh, it's pretty good. Um, and uh, I just beat Mass Effect 1, actually, which was pretty good. And uh, I'll be starting Mass Effect 2 again here pretty soon, and uh, looking forward to it. My, my main goal is to try and get through Mass Effect 3 again by the time the next DLC comes out, which is speculated to be March 5th or something like that, on the anniversary of Mass Effect 3's release. And I said before that there was a chance that that could be a post-ending DLC. I'm not sure how true that is right now, um, because there have been some mixed responses from the Bioware employees on their own uh, forums. Some of them have said, we've already said there'll be no ending DLC, which you would think would mean that there's not going to be any ending DLC. But 
At the same time, they did flat out deny that there would be a Leviathan DLC or an Omega DLC, and uh, those ended up being released, so it's hard to know, <laughs> you know, whether or not they're telling the truth. But, you know, maybe they are. Maybe they won't be post-ending. That's certainly possible. I hope I'm not disappointing anyone here getting their hopes up that, there, that it will be, and if it turns out not to be. But there is hope. And that's all we have, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, I think that about does it for a Mass Effect conversation. Uh, overall, it's a good, good game. Uh, the single player is awesome. The ending, you know, even with the extended cut, mm, kind of disappointing. But the, uh, the, you know, up until the end, it's, uh, it's a very good, very good trilogy. Uh, I'm looking forward to the fourth one. Uh, I've heard some people kind of throw around the idea of whether or not it's going to be a prequel or a sequel. Honestly, I don't know how interested I'd be in a prequel. I never really liked prequels that much because. You know, you already know what's going to happen at the end. I mean, because, I mean, if you've played the Mass Effect trilogy, they make a prequel. And there's not much you can draw from to do the prequel. Because, I mean, the only thing that happens before the events of the first game is, what, the first contact war? Many of you probably don't know what I'm talking about. If you're familiar with the, with the Mass Effect lore, then you, then you know what I'm talking about. And, I mean, yeah, the first contact war is a cool concept. But for a whole game, I don't think so. I think the only way that a lot of people would be interested would be for them to make a sequel. And I hope they do. I think a sequel could be done. Some people thought, you know, because of the endings, can it really be done? If you're creative, creative enough, I think it can be. And I hope that's the route they go. But, uh, but yeah, you know, that's enough, I think, conversation for that whole topic. Uh, in terms of Call of Duty, because I know a lot of you here are subscribed for Call of Duty content. Don't worry. There will be more Call of Duty. I have some plenty of Black Ops 2 gameplays. Uh, Winter Break has been very good to me with regards to recording gameplays. I have quite a few on my hard drive. Like, I won't be running out for months. So, uh, no fear there. Uh, I will be uploading another Black Ops 2 gameplay here probably in the next couple of days. And uh, you guys can look forward to that. And, uh, yeah, with all that said, I uh, hope you all enjoyed the video. I'll kind of cut it a little bit short here. And uh, these matches tend to be pretty long. So, this is a bit of a longer video. But, yeah. I'll cut it short here. Hope you all enjoyed it, and I will see you guys later. Nice work! 